I founded this organization one year back with uh, the team which with whom I have won the e-antra competition in year 2015. I have founded this organization with a clear vision of bringing industrial revolution 4.0. This little thing has created a lot of buzz around the industry because it has multiple use cases in various industry. It can be used in mines, it can be used in oil and gas industry, it can be used in forest industry stopping poaching, it can be used in warehouse management industry, it can be used in delivery industry. But a basic problem was there in the drone implementation. They all need drone to be entirely autonomous. The drone navigation part has already been auto automated, but there is one thing which wasn't yet auto automated before we automated it. That is the charging and docking part of this drone. The first product is a universal docking and charging station. Is it is a universal locking and charging station on which any drone in the market can come and land and charge itself and can and the drone can be worked around the clock without need of even a human pilot, a operator or anyone in the industry. Not only that, this particular charging station can connect, uh, can get connected to the grid of any, uh, any IT infrastructure through the LAN and it can transfer the all the data which drone collects to the servers, the online servers. Then we have a desktop application through which people in the industry can use and interact with the drone. And then we have a software ecosystem around application in which we process the processes the thermal and visual data which drone collects and give insights to the industry. So this is what we are doing right now. I must tell you that in this short period of time of around nine months, we have filed one of our patent that is this charging, docking and charging station. And we recently got funded by Mangalore Petro Petrochemical Refinery, which is through Indian Institute of Management Kori Kode. Now I'll come to my learnings of entrepreneurship. I have divided into five learnings and the fancy names for it. Number one is assemble the Pandvas. You guys need that complementary skill set for your startup to get win into the market. What are those uh, complementary skills? You must need to sit down and write down the activities you are going to perform. And do you have those guys to take charge of these activities or not? When we started, we thought the startup means just the technical activities where we were good at. And But after three to four months, we realized that business planning, financial planning, pitching, fundraising, content writing, marketing, sales, all, all of these are equally important. And that's when we all took a step ahead and started learning about it. Become an Arjun. While Arjun was aiming for the bird and Dronacharya asked him, what are you seeing in the bird? What did he reply? Can anyone tell me? Yeah. So the startup needs to be that focused because a startup is a small entity with limited human resources as well as financial resources and you can't do everything from yourself and you need to focus on only those things which you can only do, not everyone else can do. So I'll tell you this thing with our experience when we started, we started with the drone making and then we end up to a charging station, then we end up to the software solution for it because that was the business problem that needs to be solved. We made a prototype. We went to uh, we went to one of uh, five to uh, seven industrial customers, including large mining corporates in in this country, and we pitched our product to them. They were all happy that we want this product right now. Someone has even few of them has even asked for the quotations also. That was a moment of joy for all of us, but. There was a worry, uh, we were also worried about that how will we give this product to these customers as soon as possible. And because th this story was going on one hand and on other hand, investors were not willing to invest in this company. Why? Because we are making drone, which is a solved problem. Then I was in utter confusion. I, I, that's when I texted Professor Arya. I asked him, sir, what to do now? Investors are not willing to put in money. Customers wanted to buy this product. What do we do now? Then he said, you should cut the drone part from your offering straight away. And you should call yourself an aerial survey and surveillance company. And 
luckily uh, in indian institute of management kori kode where our startup is incubated right now we had an event in which 11 to 12 institution investing institution has come and we pitched the same way uh, how professor said and interestingly we got uh, three to four investors interest on that particular day and then we figured out that yes that this, this is the right way to do it even though it was very hard decision because six months we took for developing the prototype only four four months was dedicated to drone manufacturing so it was hard decision to do but it was necessary also because after doing this our financial projection has gone gone down capital expenditure has gone down and our enter into the market has improved a lot feed your baby with the feedback this learning we already had because uh, while we were there uh, in our jobs also and we were working on few products and we knew how to build a product we all had this learning because all of our guys who are working right now they already worked two years in the companies so uh, but it has a real time uh, uh, like real case scenario also we build our first product first prototype went to the hindalco which is aditya birla's uh, subsidiary of mining uh, mining and then we pitch uh, we showed them this product for continuously four days and after we showed them this product interesting use cases started to come from them and which only we can do there is one thing that needs to be managed in the mine and which only a 24 by 7 available can a drone can do not all the guys who are right now in the market so th that particular understanding would not have come to us if we wouldn't have gone earlier to them and showed them our product because th these are the guys who will be giving you and they will be making a moat for you which investors would be very willing to ask you what is your moat because they would be willing to fund only when you have a moat in your company so what is a moat you all know a castle right castle has a boundary in which you have khai right no one can enter directly into the castle so that is a moat and every startup has should have that moat so if you are making only only you can make it that is a moat every startup needs a krishna assume yourself to be the guy who is inside the maze and you will not know where to go right you always have will be presented by two or three opportunities and you always have to take the decision about it and you need a guy who can see you from the outside and he knows the arena also he knows you are you also where you are and he can he will be the best person to guide you which gate to ta take which gate not to take which will lead to your destination which will lead to your failure and you need those krishnas with you while you are building a company sales is a combination of confidence and grit sales need confidence why confidence because when you are when you are pitching your first product to the customers if your product is entirely novel your customer would be first would also be newer to accept this product and in front of them if you look confident they'll also get confidence that this guy know everything so he'll understand that my problems get solved one is the confidence number two is the grit uh, grit why because because in b2b b2b sales cycles they are used to be very long they have uh, suppose you send it to big corp uh, corporate like adani also you will start from somewhere you will jump to one level jump to another level jump to another level and it, it takes around 6 to 7 months and this is a long process and you need to have dhairya that something will happen at the end and sometimes i i'll share you uh, share a one story with you there was uh, there was a big corporate who invited us for the mine visit i visited their mine i already realized that they have underground mining operation and our product would not be a great fit for them even though i went there i showed them the product the product could be used for just for the security and surveillance purposes then after after one month he, he called me abhishek can you solve this underground mine problem i said sir i we can't uh, do that we don't have that he got upset and he he cancelled our uh, 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 pilot project for this uh, 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 what i say the not the underground what what we are making for the surveillance drone also so you need grit for in those cases right number 2 when i was pitching to a smb what happened on that day we already we only have one drone in our company right now with the limited fund all the software development goes onto that drone itself 
so the software guys had made some changes and we went for the we went for the uh, uh, pilot or we went for the demo and what happened suddenly things were not working how it was working earlier because few changes software changes has been done which was only tested in the simulator and on that day drone didn't even fly so it was our mistake but uh, we thought that this mistake is only for one time it will not be repeated next time we will always test our drones so in that scenarios also you need grit that things will happen there is a mine and there is a drone there with a charging station on a software application we have planned the uh, drone path where the uh, survey needs to be done and after that uh, once a uh, employee click on a fly once drone gets trigger it will take off autonomously it goes it collects data so once it comes back it detects those visual markers and land on to the charging pad and it start charging itself again and drone will be ready for the next mission once the charge has been completed so this is the overall concept what we are making and this charging station is right now not connected to the grid the it grid it could be connected to the it grid and we are through which the data can be transferred it took around 60 years to us to reach to a 1 trillion economy then only 7 years to 2 trillion right now we are 3 and probably will reach to 25 uh, at 2025 basically we are entering into a golden age of this country and uh, when after 15 to 20 years ahead when the history would be written we would we guys the younger guys would be the one who will be writing this history these younger guys should be the entrepreneurs so if you want take this courage and opt the opt for the entrepreneurship and best of luck guys thanks a lot